gosh, what an absolutely oh, massive play to start play. the game. If he gets rid of the stage, he gets the one hit KO! Hey everybody, welcome back to Fight for First. Happy Tuesday. Um, you might notice that Stump is missing. Um, <laughs> so after that crazy hype Monday battle, the team proceeded to get 4-0 pub stomped. Um, I mean, to be fair, the guy was like 1800 and then like 1777 and then, but it got pub stomped like 4-0, 3-0, 4-0. So I kicked him off and honestly, the games were just, it was just a face roll. So, um, yeah, we're doing a different Tuesday. I built a different team, one that does not suck as much. I did leave on, I think, what are the coolest parts of that team. So we're going to give it a shot. And we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, all of the testing on that shitty, shitty team really took a toll to our point score. But, um, you know, what can you do? We just found, you know, what, what did Edison say? I found like 999 ways to not make a light bulb or some other number that's not that. But we found a hundred ways to not make a Pokemon team. And that includes Mega Suck Bunny. Um, and friends. So we'll go with that. 1699. Khan, Gengar, Sylveon, Garchomp, Raikou, and Gyarados. Oh, Gyarados. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe next Monday I'll give him another chance. And, um, you know, it, it, obviously I don't care if it loses or not, but like the games were just such pub stomps it's just not even it's not even worth my time to edit them like i would be wasting my time just because it's just like well we lose from turn one and then we did lose so um but i'm thinking next monday i'll bring him back and he'll have another crazy team and hopefully it won't suck as much but uh yeah good stuff mega Kangaskhan. hopefully it's not just a fake mega gengar i hate it when they do that um and he's got some cool things we do have intimidate here i feel like the raikou might start i feel like that's a that's a thing that they do so I might go, actually, Breloom's kind of cool if I don't get, um, like, intimidated or something. I don't know. Melodic's not too bad either. Uh, do I want to bring the Metagross? Like, it's kind of hype. Hydreigon's not bad. If we can stop the Sylveon, how are we going to stop it? Should I go these two? Rotom, Salamence. Not too bad. Actually, I might do that. Yeah, that's that seems pretty decent actually. Um, Melodic's actually really good here if we can get rid of the Raikou, the Raikou, whatever you guys pronounce. I don't I don't know how to pronounce Pokemon. I just played through the storyline. They don't tell me anything. Um, and then, well, if we're gonna bring the Metagross, if we're gonna bring the Metagross, then yeah, we kind of have to bring Melodic. I think. It's a shame we don't get to bring Breloom, um, which I think could be really cool, um, and Hydreigon could be really cool too. But I'm bringing the Salamence, and I think he might really prepare to get rid of the Hydreigon since it is uh, actually a decent threat to some of his team. We'll probably see the Garchomp or the uh, what's the other thing, the Gengar. So I think I think he'll be ready for it. So I'm not going to bring it, um, especially because I need to take out that Sylveon somehow. So we'll bring the Metagross. Salamence Rotom is our lead. We got the Intimidate, potential Will O Wisp um, into the Kangaskhan and the Dog. Kangaskhan, Dog. What's up, Kanga Dog? Okay, minus one. Um, he, he, uh, what do we think? Do you think we can get the KO? A lot, I know sometimes they run stuff where they don't get KO'd by double edge. So I'd hate to get faked out here. I'm gonna switch this turn one. Um, no, no big deal, I guess. Into Metagross would be cool. I know we'll have the Sucker Punch option, but I think he's gonna fake out the Rotom anyway. But we're going to go for something um, just because we can. I'll go for Will-O-Wisp here. He doesn't have a great switch in for it. In fact, nothing is really going to want to take it. Maybe the Gengar. Um, and the Hyper Voice really won't do too much to my Metagross. Rotom Metagross will check the Sylveon next turn. No real reason to try to hit it. If I was going to leave Salamence in, I would try to hit the Sylveon this turn. But I'm afraid of the Fake Out hitting the Rotom and then not having the damage. We Well, we really could have done that. We really could have just Protect Megad and try to hit the Sylveon and then doubled into it next turn. But... I guess I didn't because I ran out of time. So we'll go this way. Actually, that would have been way better, huh? Okay, whatever. We'll just take the Hyper Voice, I guess. Um, he's going to Mega. He's probably going to fake out the Rotom. Probably going to Hyper Voice. We're probably just going to take it and be in this position. And we'll see if he tries to Sucker Punch um, the Metagross this next turn and leave the Sylveon in. We'll see. There's the Fake Out. 
Okay, under the Rotom spot. Yeah, pretty pretty typical. We do have the Citrus Berry on this Rotom, though, so I'm kind of cool with, you know, taking a little bit of damage. Metagross should take this pretty well. <laughs> I've seen better damage. Um, I'd love to just Meteor Mash it, but does that seem too obvious? Yeah, screw it. I'm going to get the boost. Go ahead, Meteor Mash. Um, I think with the Citrus Berry and the Intimidate, we can survive, unless it's Double Edge. So let's go for the Will-O-Wisp. I think it's a good play, uh, especially because, like I say, he doesn't really have a great switch in for it. Um, kind of dancing around the Citrus Berry right now, but he's got to switch out the Sylveon or he's going to lose it. I don't think Sucker Punch can KO the Metagross at minus one, so that should be nice, I think. I don't use Metagross, actually, like, at all, so. Yeah, unless he's, like, adamant max attack. I don't think it does 139. I really don't think. Um, and the Sylveon's got to be scared. It might just protect. He will switch. What's going to get hit? Gyarados? Raikou, Raikou. Okay, he's going to take it with... Oh, it's Double Edge. Oh, God, it's Double Edge Con. Yeah, that's going to get us. Oh, yeah. Wait, maybe... Maybe by some luck we'll survive this. What do you think? Huh. Yes! Yes! Citrus Berry! All right, here we go. Yes, nice Will-O-Wisp. Woo! And we'll break the potential Sash on that um, Gengar so we can destroy it later with our Salamence, which is really nice. Boom. Look at that. That's crazy. That's big damage. All right, he's burned. He's got Gengar. He's burned. Um, now, this Metagross is a big threat to his Sylveon, so he's going to want to try to get rid of it. Uh, I can see a Shadow Ball incoming. No reason to switch. Let's just protect. Sweat protects so good. And I'm, I'm, I'm down to lose the Rotom. Uh, I really am, I think. He does have a Gyarados, but it could always be faster. The Garchomp, we're not really going to be useful anymore, and the Raikou will outspeed us too. Let's go ahead, try to Thunderbolt the 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 Gengar in case he switch. He's not. He's just going to kill the Rotom. But that way we can switch in. <sighs> Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're going to end up taking a, 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 a turn, a hit turn. Okay, wow. He's going to go for a Protect there. That's neat. Uh, we will Protect ourselves because we don't want to take the Shadow Ball just yet. Uh, he's going to Ice Punch. Wow, that's scary. Our Rotom. Which left us alive, which is not good, in fact. It's not good. He does have Ice Punch, though. Ice Punch, Double Edge. That's a scary con. And he's got Fake Out. So, last one's probably going to be Low Kick. Yeah. He's going to Shadow Ball. He's definitely going to Shadow Ball. Um, so, what am I going to do? I can't protect the Metagross anymore. Let's go to Melodic. We have a Morango Berry, so I, it wouldn't be too bad to activate that. He's going to go ahead and try to KO our Rotom for sure this time. Um, yeah, let's just let it go down. I really think that's the best option. We got to save the Metagross. Yeah. I'll try to get the Gengar again. We won't get it. I mean, we're going to go down to the Kangaskhan. It's the best. That's like actually the best thing that Kangaskhan can do for him is to get rid of our Rotom and protect his Gengar for a turn. Um, we'll take this. We'll protect next turn as we double Omega. Oh, please tell me I get to take it with me. Oh, too bad. Okay, so, huh. Destiny Bond is a threat. It is indeed a threat. I don't know what we're going to do. He didn't go for the Shadow Ball, which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm terrified. Let's go. Let's think here. Okay, it's Destiny Bond Gengar. What the flip? He's going to take something with him unless we just... I don't know how we can get rid of it otherwise. We can't. We're going to lose it. He's got the Sylveon, though. And, uh... Huh... Okay. Sending out the Mance. It's going to be interesting. I mean, the Kangaskhan's wrecked. But I might... Do we just leave the Gengar? Do we just leave it? I, I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to Icy Wind here. And I'm going to protect Mega. Um, and that way he doesn't get a chance if he's slower than my Mega. Well, I could just double protect, to be honest. Is that better? How fast is Gengar? How fast is Mega Salamence? Mega Salamence should be faster, right? 
That way he can't actually lock anything down. Let's see, Mega Salamence, 189. Yeah, even if we're hasty. Uh, yeah, we should be fast. I'm gonna double protect. Double protect Mega. That way he can't Destiny Bond anything. It didn't get off last turn, right? Yep. And then that way we'll lock it down. Keep our Melodic healthy. Um, he's gonna switch out the Kangaskhan. He's gonna try to save it. He's gonna save the Fake Out for later. Oh my gosh, what is this? Uh, he's gonna go into Sylveon. Scary Pokemon. Uh, as we're gonna Mega, we're gonna Protect. I wonder what he's gonna do. I don't know what kind of damage that was. Was, was it Specs? Was it not? Hmm. If we double into the Sylveon, we can get it. Because with the Double Edge, we should be able to uh, finish it off. But... Oh god, it's gonna Destiny Bond. Oh wait, it gets the Destiny Bond even through Protect? Oh my god, what is this BS? That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna Skull, I'm gonna double into the the Sylveon. I don't wanna let it do anything weird. And then we can Hyper Voice later, um, if he hurts us. So let's do it. Boom! Ooh! Built to survive. Planned. We planned on this though. Frick you, Gengar! What are you doing? Stop that! I really need this Scald right here to do me the damage. Do me the dirty, dirty damage. That's the dirtiest of damage. Sylveon's down. Kangaskhan's burned. Um, it's pretty, pretty whack right now. Uh, his options are Garchomp, Raikou, Gyarados. Or he brings in the Khan. Raikou. I can't pronounce that thing to save my life. Uh, it's Raikou. Okay. Okay, cool. Interessante. I mean, I'd love to just hyper voice. That being said, okay, so now we know he's got the Gengar, or he's got the Khan. Melodic can beat that. If we hyper voice, we, we KO ourselves. I'm gonna Draco the, the Raikou, I think. He's just gonna keep Destiny bonding, which sucks. I'm gonna Scald and I'm gonna Draco Meteorite. What do you think? He's probably not expecting it. He probably thinks we're just physical. And then it'll be Melodic Kank thing against Melodic Metagross versus the world. Are we okay with that? Yeah, screw it. We're okay with that. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, we hit it. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll just KO it. Boom. Oh, yeah. That did no damage. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's not a whole lot of damage. Okay. Um, melodic, be a beast. Oh, wait. That's great. Oh, look at that. Oh, we get our berry. Mmm. Yum, 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 He's gonna go for a Shadow Ball now, which means we should get a chance to Hyper Voice it next turn. No, because he's gonna have the Fake Out. He'll have the Fake Out pressure. Okay, Raikou's down. Huh. He's gonna have the Fake Out pressure. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? <laughs> He's got fake out. I'm gonna hyper voice. What do you think? Hyper voice? What do we do? Metagross kind of sucking. Kind of sucking. Um, but if we like melodic's so big. Honestly, like a sc scald. Hyper voice. Should probably win us this game. What do you think? If he sucker punches. Yeah, let's do it. Let's. Oh, our special attack's down, huh? Should it do enough? No, because it's... Oh, God. I'm going to Draco... No, I'm going to double-edge it. Yeah. Screw you, Gengar. Let's just hit the Kangaskhan for big damage. <gasps> we took a win! Yeah! Woo! Woo! I will accept that forfeit, and, um... Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah. Uh, so, the, uh... The Intimidates, the Will-O-Wisp, really great. Gengar's a threat. Mega Metagross coming in. Didn't really do a whole lot. But the Melodic came up real big. So, that's a great Tuesday. We're going to climb back up right now. We'll see how that goes for the rest of this week, though. But, um, not a bad team. Not the, well, not the worst. Not Mega Bunny bad. Not that Mega Bunny can't be used, but definitely not the way we were using it. Anyway, guys, happy Tuesday. Um, that worked out pretty well. Um, the, the Metagross has got something special. I'm not sure if I mentioned it. Did I mention it? Hmm. I'd rather show you guys, though. I think it's really cool. So, 
Uh, but the Marenga Berry on the Melodic did not come in handy because he never hit me again. But I think it's a cool item, especially if it's Citrus somewhere else, um, especially if you're defensively built like my bold Melodic is. Um, it's cool if you get hit with a special attack, your special defense goes up, especially if you catch that on a, on a you know, you recover on that same turn, you're taking special damage, um, and you have an Intimidate on your team. It's a great way to make Melodic just super bulky and just stay out on the field uh, for a whole game. Anyway, great Tuesday. Um, see you guys tomorrow on another episode of Five for First, and we're going to try the team again, and then we'll see how it goes. So hopefully we get to use the Metagross, use its special sauce, and... Um, yeah, it was a big Meteor Mash. Actually, the big Meteor Mash did a lot of damage to that Gengar, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, watch yourselves. Don't hit Gengar that are Destiny Bonding you. Um, and that's it. See you guys tomorrow in another episode. Five for first.